Howdy, my name is Larian, and this is an oil well in desperate need of pumping. When you're using oil as a source of buildcraft energy, one of the most obnoxious problems is that it is never, ever where you want it. You have to go out in the middle of the desert or the middle of the ocean or whatever, you know, and your base is kilometers away. So, with a little bit of help from thermal expansion, we are going to fix that problem. First, I'm going to place down a redstone energy cell. This will give us the juice to do all of the work in question. Then I'm going to place next to it a liquid transposer. The liquid transposer uh, runs on uh, buildcraft energy, uh, which is stored in this uh, energy cell, just like uh, blah, it's the same energy the pump uses and it will take fuel it's 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 a valid tank for uh, for this oil and i will show that in a second i will place that pump there and i'll place a single liquid duct in between the two and you can see the pump is working when you see that little uh black and yellow arm go down and then it'll go down again yeah so the energy cell by default is outputting way too much energy. We only need to output t uh, 10 uh, joules a tick because that's all that a fully fully charged uh, or fully operational pump can consume. And you see we've already uh, sucked up two buckets. While we're going down the spout, it takes a lot longer because this is a big, long, thin, narrow area. And bam, I mean, there we go. Uh, th that's the third bucket. And once it gets going, it'll start speeding up uh, once it reaches the bubble, there's there's a big sphere of oil underground somewhere. The higher elevation you see the spout go up to is a good indicator of how big that uh, that bubble is down at the bottom. So this is going to be an average sized one, just because we're you know we're up in the 70s, we're basically at sea level here. But uh, this energy you'll notice isn't being used all the time. It's only used when uh, the transposer has work to do or when the pump does work. The, the both machines are very smart about that. But this by itself doesn't help us any. What we need is something to put the oil in. Not coil, can. Let's take some cans here. Uh, let's take some empty tin cans. These are cheap to make and uh, they're, they come from forestry. There are a couple of other mods. Uh, Industrial Craft has uh, uh, cells made out of tin that are effectively the same thing, but I believe you can put oil in. And, yeah. Well, this is spitting out these cans, and that's great because I can take these cans with me to another location, say my base, you know, two miles down the road where I don't want to run pipes, I don't want to do anything cheesy with teleportation, I don't want to do whatever, I just want the oil. I want a good amount of energy, and so I fill my bag full of these tin cans, take them out here, plunk them in there, and I let this transposer spin them out. It can actually be programmed to, because it's a thermal expansion machine, we can tell it, hey, when you're done, output up. And so now, those cans are going to go into this chest. And so we could have just a ton of these cans. You know, you could set up a hopper to feed it in or whatever. But uh, just have a bunch of these cans. Then we'll take, you know, some cans and run, 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 run. Imagine my base is over here next to these butterflies. If I place another liquid transposer attached to some power, I can then change its mode to output. I'll stick that in there and it takes the oil out of the cans without destroying the can. This is the important part. Without the transposer you could still use something like this but you'd be destroying cans in the process. And now what we can do is we can take you know some sort of liquid tank and we can run some more liquid duct through it and bam! The oil goes out into this where, you know, we would refine it or whatever. And then we take these empty cans and we run back. So obviously you can use rail and pipes and anything else like this 
to uh, to get this sort of job done, but this is just a way to you know to transport oil from a from a pump all the way across the world without having to set up a large amount of infrastructure in between. Maybe you're doing this across dimensional boundaries. Who knows? Point is, it's pretty easy, and uh, by using a redstone energy cell, instead of generating the power on site, you're not wasting power, and it's a lot easier to clean up after yourself. When I'm done, you know, when I came out here, I only really needed to take these three blocks, that one piece of liquiduct, and however many cans I was going to fill up. Uh, when I'm done, you know, we just take a, uh, not a wrench, a hammer. Uh, you know, we just take this and we pick up things and go away. So, there you have it. Now I'm curious. Let's go see how deep this is. Wee splash. Still descending. Still descending. Still descending. At 30-ish, we hit the top of the bubble, and then the bubble goes down to 22. So that is a... Yeah, it's got a... That is a bubble with a diameter of... Like 12, 30 to 20, oh, yeah, 10, 12. So, yeah, that's a lot of oil down there. 64 cans is not going to be enough to carry it, so, you know, several stacks of cans. But again, because those cans are reusable when you're using a uh, liquid transposer, it all works out. So, my name's Hilarion. This has been just a neat little build that I thought I'd show people. Bye bye.